India is on the brink of transforming its entire transportation system by resurrecting an ancient marvel. Imagine a vast network of gleaming rivers and tranquil canals, crisscrossing one of the most vibrant and populous nations on Earth. Picture colossal barges laden with goods gliding effortlessly from bustling ports to inland cities, while sleek passenger boats ferry commuters and tourists alike, all against the backdrop of India's lush and diverse landscapes. But why is India, a nation known for its tech advancements and bustling railways, turning to its rivers to build a colossal water highway network? Stay with us as we dive into this extraordinary venture that promises to revolutionize not just transport, but the very fabric of Indian life. India, a country with a storied history of riverine culture, is now embarking on an audacious journey to harness its waterways like never before. The government has announced an ambitious plan to develop 23 waterways for passenger and cargo movement by 2030, creating a massive water highway network that promises to revolutionize transportation and commerce across the subcontinent. This grand initiative, part of a broader push towards sustainable infrastructure, seeks to connect the country's major cities and rural hinterlands in an unprecedented manner. The significance of this project cannot be overstated. India, with its rapidly growing economy and increasing urbanization, faces significant challenges in transportation. Roads and railways are often congested, leading to delays, higher costs, and environmental degradation. The development of inland waterways presents a transformative solution to these issues, offering an efficient, cost-effective, and eco-friendly mode of transport. Waterways have long been underutilized in India, despite the country's extensive river network. This new focus on water highways aims to tap into this latent potential, providing a vital boost to the economy and enhancing connectivity across regions. The overview of the project is as impressive as it is ambitious. By 2030, India plans to have 23 national waterways operational, facilitating the seamless movement of cargo and passengers. This initiative encompasses the development of infrastructure such as terminals, jetties, and navigational aids alongside dredging operations to maintain the navigability of these waterways. The plan also includes the modernization of existing ports and the creation of new ones, ensuring that the waterways are integrated into the broader transport network. This comprehensive approach ensures that the water highway network will not only be functional but also efficient and sustainable. One of the most compelling aspects of this initiative is the myriad of benefits of inland waterways over traditional modes of transport, such as road and rail. Water transport is significantly more cost-effective, with studies showing that it costs only a fraction of road and rail transport. For instance, the cost of transporting goods by water is roughly one-fifth of that by road and one-half of that by rail. This cost advantage translates into lower prices for goods, boosting trade and economic growth. Furthermore, waterways are inherently more fuel efficient, with a single liter of fuel capable of moving a ton of cargo over 105 kilometers by water compared to just 85 kilometers by rail and 24 kilometers by road. This efficiency results in lower emissions, contributing to a reduction in the overall carbon footprint of the transportation sector. The environmental benefits extend beyond reduced fuel consumption. Inland waterway transport produces significantly less air and noise pollution compared to road and rail. This makes waterways a cleaner and quieter alternative, contributing to improved air quality and reducing the health impacts associated with transportation emissions. Additionally, the development of water highways can help alleviate the burden on India's congested road and rail networks, reducing traffic jams, accidents, and wear and tear on infrastructure. This in turn, can lead to significant savings in maintenance costs and extend the lifespan of existing transport infrastructure. Going into the current status and development plans, it's clear that India is already making substantial progress. The declaration of 111 national waterways in 2016 marked a significant milestone, laying the foundation for a robust inland water transport system. Of these, several key waterways, such as the Ganga Bhagirathi Huli River System, National Waterway 1, the Brahmaputra, National Waterway 2, and the West Coast Canal, National Waterway 3, are already being developed and operationalized. 
These waterways are being equipped with state-of-the-art infrastructure, including terminals, multimodal logistic hubs, and advanced navigational systems, ensuring they're ready to handle large volumes of traffic efficiently. The development work on these waterways is in full swing. Major dredging operations are underway to ensure year-round navigability, while new terminals and jetties are being constructed to facilitate the loading and unloading of cargo and passengers. In parallel, efforts are being made to modernize existing ports and integrate them with the National Waterways Network. This holistic approach ensures that the benefits of the water highways are maximized, providing seamless connectivity and enhancing the overall efficiency of the transport system. Moreover, the government is actively encouraging private sector participation in the development and operation of these waterways. Public-private partnerships are being promoted to leverage the expertise and investment capacity of private players, ensuring that the infrastructure is developed to world-class standards. This collaborative approach not only accelerates the pace of development, but also ensures that the water highways are sustainable and commercially viable in the long run. Continuing from the ambitious blueprint of India's massive water highway network, it's crucial to spotlight the successful projects and initiatives that have already started to materialize across the country. These projects are not just symbols of progress, but also proof of concept for the broader vision. Take, for instance, the multimodal terminals that have been set up along National Waterway 1, which spans the Ganga Bhagarathi Huli River system. These terminals, equipped with state-of-the-art facilities, are designed to handle both cargo and passenger traffic efficiently. In Varanasi, a major terminal has been operational, transforming the city into a significant hub for inland water support. This terminal, with its modern cargo handling equipment, warehousing facilities, and connectivity to road and rail networks, exemplifies how water infrastructure can seamlessly integrate with other transport modes, ensuring smooth and efficient movement of goods. In another striking example, the development of river taxi services in cities like Kolkata and Mumbai has shown the potential of water transport in urban settings. These services have not only provided a quicker and more scenic commuting option for residents, but have also helped reduce congestion on the roads. The introduction of these river taxis marks a significant step forward, making water transport a mainstream mode of urban mobility, promoting the use of waterways for daily travel and tourism alike. Inland river ports have also emerged as pivotal components of this grand vision. The Haldia multimodal terminal on the Ganga River has been a game changer for eastern India. By facilitating the movement of bulk goods like coal, cement, and food grains, this port has significantly reduced transportation costs and time, boosting the economic vitality of the region. Such ports are strategically located to leverage the natural waterways for maximum economic benefit, serving as critical nodes in the waterway network. While these successes are promising, the path to realizing the full potential of the water highway network is not without its challenges. One of the primary hurdles is the issue of river pollution. Many of India's rivers are plagued by industrial waste, sewage, and plastic pollution, which can impede navigation and harm aquatic ecosystems. Addressing this challenge requires comprehensive efforts to clean and rejuvenate the rivers, involving stringent regulations on waste disposal, investment in sewage treatment plants, and community-driven initiatives for river conservation. Another significant challenge is ensuring the preservation of riverine ecosystems. The construction of infrastructure, such as terminals, jetties, and dredging operations, can disrupt habitats and affect biodiversity. It is imperative to adopt environmentally sustainable practices in the development of waterway infrastructure. This includes conducting through environmental impact assessments, implementing measures to minimize habitat disruption, and restoring affected areas. The integration of green technologies, such as electric-powered boats and eco-friendly materials in construction, can further mitigate the environmental impact, aligning the development with sustainable goals. Despite these challenges, the future outlook for water transport in India is incredibly promising. The potential to revolutionize the country's transportation sector is immense. Driven by the numerous economic, environmental, and social benefits, economically, the cost savings from reduced fuel consumption and lower transportation costs can significantly boost trade and industry. The efficient movement of goods can enhance supply chain reliability, making Indian products more competitive in global markets. Additionally, the development of waterway infrastructure can create numerous jobs, from construction and maintenance to operations and logistics, contributing to economic growth and livelihoods. Environmentally, 
the shift to water transport can lead to substantial reductions in greenhouse gas emissions, air pollution, and traffic congestion by diverting a significant portion of cargo and passenger traffic from roads and rails to waterways, India can make considerable strides towards achieving its climate goals and improving urban air quality. The quieter and cleaner nature of water transport also contributes to a more pleasant and sustainable urban environment. Socially, the development of water highways can enhance connectivity and accessibility, particularly for rural and remote areas. Improved transport links can facilitate access to markets, education, healthcare, and employment opportunities, promoting inclusive development. The aesthetic and recreational value of rejuvenated rivers can also enhance the quality of life for residents, providing new avenues for tourism and leisure activities. So, it's evident that India's construction of a massive water highway network is a transformative initiative with far-reaching benefits. From the successful implementation of multimodal terminals, river taxi services, and inland ports, to the ongoing efforts to address challenges such as river pollution and ecosystem preservation, the project is steadily progressing towards its ambitious goals. The potential of water transport to revolutionize India's transportation sector is immense promising significant economic, environmental, and social benefits. And there you have it, the incredible journey of India's ambitious water highway network, a vision that blends ancient wisdom with cutting-edge innovation. If this glimpse into India's transformative journey has sparked your imagination, we want to hear from you. Share your thoughts in the comments below. How do you think this water highway network will change the landscape of India? And what innovations would you like to see next?